Guru Maharaj says, subjective evolution parallels objective evolution. Meaning, and it's similar to Samkhya as described in the third count of Srimad Bhagavatam. There's Kapila's Samkhya, the theist Kapila, the atheist Kapila. They're both analyzing life, the elements, the universe, all these things. But we're told sometimes, what's the difference? One twenty-four, division is 25. What's the 25th? The soul, Atma. That the soul is what's driving all of this. So the soul is driving objective evolution. So we can say in the subjective evolution of consciousness that the soul is evolving from lower species, finished with that body, in terms of karmic imprisonment, punishment, reaction, um, um, let's say, uh, e expressing the, the reactions of karmic activity, uh, but another word meaning to finish with them. Uh, anyway, so the soul evolving Jalaja Navalakani Stavra, from aquatics to plants to insects, birds, beasts, at last to the human species. So some interpret this as saying, the Atato, now that you've achieved human life, now that you can understand what I'm saying, now that you can hear what I'm uh, trying to convey to you, now that you can conceive such things properly, now that you're a conscious being who's not only aware of your existence, but of a particular inner necessity you have,